In this video we will learn how to take a screenshot using Monostaff for the windows as well as Mac. Hey guys my name is Roman and welcome to Web Digital channel and if you are into if you are into teaching online or content marketer or a tutorial blogger or something like that or a tech tutorial blogger then you may be using some screenshot tool but if you want to learn about Monosnap which is actually the best out there for the windows you can just follow up this video and learn how to create a screenshot and how to create a gifs and how to create a video screenshot using Monosnap without wasting any time before we get started if you haven't subscribed to the channel please hit that red button learn more about seo technical seo digital marketing as a whole in this channel so let's get started so what first thing what you need to do is go to monostap.com and here just click on the download and choose your platform like if you are on the mac use the mac if you want to install it on google chrome then you can use the google chrome and there's a windows part so i'm using a window for this illustration so i will be using the windows version so after downloading you will be seeing this drop zone so drop zone is all about screenshot and and its settings and you can just explore anywhere so if you don't want to use any hotkeys then you can just go here and select any option from here if you want to record a video you can just record a video and you can capture entire screen area screen etc so we will be using a hotkeys to set up a hotkeys what you need to do is go to the settings and there's actually various settings out there and here is a hotkey section so i have entered various hotkeys and there's a standard also control plus or plus f to trigger the editor or drop zone editor so i we will be using this so there's also a video recording and we will also be using that in upcoming minutes so there's a stop option which i have added for myself so if it's not in the standard form so you should add that control process so let's get started to create a screenshot as an image okay and to create an image and to trigger that screenshot tool what you need is just enter control plus alt plus five so it will trigger that particular tool and you can see a various option out there as you can see just click to snap a window and if you want to screenshot whole window just click on it and it will snap all the window so you don't need to uh, enter any area or something like that so it's actually very easy and straightforward but you can also do that with the standard command for the windows right so what's new in this so we will know what's new in this this is the editor which is the new in this so in the next section we will know how to screenshot a part of screen just trigger that particular mono snap with the control plus alt plus five so you should remember that control plus alt plus five you can also edit your own hotkeys in the settings also so here is if you want to you know select a part of the screenshot you can easily do that just drag it anywhere else or the part of this screen you want to use and there you go you will get everything or you will get screenshot of that particular area isn't that amazing oh no i know you may be wondering i can do that with the help of various other free tools right what's amazing about this so let's just move forward so if you want to you know just uh, choose like let me give you an example there's also a delay method also if you use screenshot x for the mac you know about it suppose if i want to take a screenshot about blog and hear about us about privacy policy to you know to give someone a link or something like that and you cannot do that with a standard screenshot like control plus or plus 5 if i type so that will disappear why because that was over behavior and to screenshot that we have and delayed snap and to delay snap what it does is it give you a five seconds time to perform your action or perform your behavior and it will screenshot after that suppose let to add a timer to your screenshot what you need is with the drag you need to hold alt i am holding an alt and dragging this like that and it start giving me five seconds so i will over mouse over to this so there you go we will get the snapshot of this particular behavior so that's how you can easily snap an image from the delayed behavior like that now we are marching on to editing part so we have mastered how to take a screenshot using a delay method using a standard procedure or using a selected part of the screen right and now we are moving forward to the editing part so here is the sim simple editor available for you and to use this what you need is and to use this is a very straightforward to add an arrow you can just add an arrow and if you want to add a thickness to it there is a toggle button like this and you can add a thickness just select that arrow and add a thickness to it like this if you don't want that thickness just add a thinness to it 
so i want a thickness to it because i like the thicker part of that arrow and in the next part if you want to add a you know part of your rectangle like if you want to highlight something with this like that you can easily add that you can add a line to it like i want to highlight this particular section like your and you can add a circle to it like i want to emphasize on the software review part and if you have done something wrong like if you want to resize it just click on it it will give you the four anchor point from where you can resize that like this isn't it amazing and in the next part there is a pencil tool where you can use a free hand like that i want to you know emphasize on this part to my colleagues then you can use this pencil and there's a text part also like if i want to add something to this screenshot i will say for for submit you know just my colleague i'm just sending for to him so i'm just adding that so the next part is actually my best part of this tool is to add text to your arrow suppose you are explaining something to your colleague like here if you need to add text to the arrow you need to add an arrow first and then text first right what if we can just add both with the same command so there is the option to add arrow with the text and to add the arrow text you need to do this this and it will trigger the text part just say for or add your own text like that so that's the amazing and my favorite part of, of this particular snap and there's a blur option so you can blur any part of uh, your image right and you can also crop the image like here if you want to crop it in the square you can just select the square part of your screenshot right let me just escape it and there's also a resize if you want to resize it to certain resolution or dimensions you can add that and if you want to maintain that expert ratio you should select that and if you don't then just unselect that what that means is if you if i just uh, adjust to 800 so it will also adjust the height with it and if you don't want to adjust the height with it just unselect it like here there you go you can do that but obviously you're not gonna do that because it will look weird like this so let me just escape it so that's about it that's how you can use these editing tools like that in this part of the video and now we are moving forward to the settings part so here is the setting here you can see the various settings here copy to the clipboard and you can also copy to the clipboard and there's a one my favorite one of them favorite setting is shadow to the image you can add a shadow to the image i know it's not visible right now but if you upload it somewhere you will find a shadow and there's a rotate clockwise anti-clockwise that's how you can do it and if you want to add an image to this particular image then you can also do the same so that's about it that's about the image tool editing tool which is available here now we have done the images part now we are moving forward to the recording a video so even if you are uh, in a learning or a teaching business even if you have a project and want to tell something about it to your client or to your colleague or even a team member then you need a video recorder to explain them visually right and monostap has the video recording functionality with also with add-on of for your microphone also you can add your webcam or any camera so how to do that as you know we have a drop zone here right and just click on it and you have a recorded video option here but you can also set a short key to it how to set set a short key you can go to the settings so it will open like this and here is the hot key and here's the video recording section you can just input any hot key here just press your hot key and it will set that or as you can see open record pause and stop here and i have already done the control s as the stop so if you want to press anything um, so if you want to uh, add a hot key for the video recording then you can just add anything so i am heading it like control plus shift plus v so whenever i type this particular hot key it will open my video recorder so let's see how it works let me close that and also there's also a trigger button when we do a traditional control plus shift plus f5 so here you can see there is a hold and control to record a video right we will be using control plus shift plus v and here you go you will get your video recorder selection here so if you want to select an area it is not in between this particular section then just press the escape key or control plus s which we have included or you can just escape so if your area is not into this then you can select a full screen also and you can also go to the settings here and you can select your webcam as i'm choosing my webcam as a for cam link 4k so it will open my camera as a webcam and you can choose your audio input so i'm using my rode nt so you can also set frame per second you can also set quality so if you don't need a higher file size then you can choose low or medium quality so i'm using the medium quality 
so here the webcam is this and capture mouse cursor if you want them to capture your mouse cursor you can enable it if you want to capture mouse clicks you can also enable that so here is the sidebar is floated like this this is the sidebar so we have various options here also we will explain that in upcoming minutes so let me just record that and let me just close it and here I have enabled webcam here I have enabled microphone also so let's just start recording and now when I click on the recording here so there is a sidebar as you can see so there are a bunch of options here to stop pause and if I want to arrow I can just simply point to that a particular arrow while I'm recording it like this and if I want to add a rectangle then I can just select the rectangle like this and if I want to select anything else like I want to disappear whatever I've selected I can also do that and if you mouse over it, you can see all everything here right here so I think this is the example of a best video recording there with the help of those annotation like arrow and the square itself if I click on this webcam just enable it it will start collecting images as I'm using a Camtasia to record this video so it won't have any impact on this video recorder but if you have a standard or uh, if you are using it for a standard then your images will be appear here so you can also pause it like this so it will turn into blue so you can also resume that it will turn into this and now after stopping this you can see there is an option available here so let me just open or control plus s you can easily stop that right there the hotkeys you have set and if you want a certain area you can just click on there like we have done it earlier so what you need to do is just trigger that recording button and here as you can see hold control and it will start recording it just like that so it will start recording your sidebar will be appear here so you can just easily stop it or first record it and stop it the same so that's how you can do it so hope you get to know how to record a video using mono snap and in the next part what we are going to do is going to explore the advanced settings of this particular app and go to that drop zone and here are different settings available for you like open from clipboard if you have already uh, have a screenshot and edited and you want that to open then you, you can easily open that uh, using this particular example or it has a hotkeys of or control plus or plus one and is open with this image and there is a control plus or plus zero and if we click on their settings again and if we go to the advanced settings is here you can see you can also set auto saving yes or no or a screenshot or a videos or screenshot and videos if you want to set a particular screenshots only only the videos all part also you can just set it up right here and you can also set the folder which from where you can easily set up and this is the functionality which I actually use the file name template see if you are uploading for a blog or if you are writing a blog and there is an SEO expect to it like adding a valid or related file name to your image files like i have told in the in google image seo video where i have explained how to rank your images on google there i have mentioned a one point where you need to add a valid file name to your images and for that i know if you are just screenshotting it you will get a weird file names but if you want you can add a file name template right here so there are different kinds of uh, template available here like here uh, and percent y is four digit like any four digit you want and there is also y which is two digit year and month if you want to add the month to it it doesn't add, add any value to our upload right but if you see there is a unix tank template also and the window title also suppose you are working on some site like uh, apple.com or something like here then you can just add this particular like right like that so it will add the window title suppose i am snapshotting this particular window so it will add the title of that particular window so i think that's actually the best part of this because i am snapshotting or i am telling a tutorial about certain window or certain software so it will add the title of that particular window so i think that's the awesome part of this particular software and there is an interface capture area if you want if you can just click on the default or quick you can also add a timer custom timer to it like 10 seconds up to 10 seconds and there's the second launch also like if you want to show notification or not and there's the add to context menu you can also add that so drop zone if you want this drop zone to continuously show to your desktop then you can just enable that and if you don't want then you can just disable that but i i don't mind it just laid down there right there so you can enable the same also you can change your language it only two languages are available right now one is russian and one is english obviously and there's an editor you can choose the external editor also i know the <laughs> you cannot add any or edit any images word word microsoft word but you can choose any 
from here like if you want ms paint to edit that or you can add any software to your list like if you want to add your photoshop to it or if you have a canva downloader canva downloaded to your desktop you can also add that so make sure you can just add uh, any editing app you want in here if you want to do it advanced settings or editing so here is a default extension is png which is the best i think and you can keep that as a source file but if you are converting it to webp i suggest you to follow a image uh, google seo google images seo video so where i have explained how to actually convert your png file to webp and there's an auto save functionality also if you have i uh, click on it it will auto save any images or snapshot i capture so i didn't actually enable it because i whenever i capture anything i'll just upload it straight away from there but if you want you can just do right away so there's the video section as i've already told you about it there's the hotkeys and there's also account functionality if you have signed up for the monosco snap account then you should if you want to sharing just a link to your colleagues then you should sign up to mono snap and you can also add your google drive account like i've told earlier you can add your google drive account and many other services if you click on add services you will see all the extensions here you can also add your own youtube channel also so i think that's about it that's what i think that's about this particular software it is very lightweight and very powerful so i think you should go for it and just sign up for the free account i think free account serves the purpose of your screenshotting or something like that or serves the purpose of screenshotting and video recording so i think this is the best software out there for the windows and if you want me to create a part if you want me to create another video for the mac where i will be using clean shot x you can also request it in the comment box so i will create it for you so if you have learned something from this even a little bit of this even a little bit from this video then click the like button and if you want to follow more videos of mine then you have a subscribe button just hit that subscribe button and if you want to share it to your friends family then you have a share button with you so see you in the next video until then bye bye